Ensuring the success of Rolls-Royce involves building on our differentiated and enduring strengths. Nowhere perhaps is that strategy more apparent than in our work providing nuclear propulsion for the Royal Navy submarine fleet. We are the only private company in the world capable of providing a full end-to-end -end nuclear power solution for use below the waves. Rolls-Royce Submarines has played a critical role in the UK's naval defence for over 60 years. That's 60 years of knowledge, learning, evolving, supporting and most of all delivering. This is a growing market. The recent increase in demand from the UK's Ministry of Defence, including providing all the new reactor plants for the UK and Australia as part of the AUKUS trilateral agreement, ensures we'll be supporting naval propulsion with our nuclear expertise for another 60 years and beyond. Our story started with another iconic and special partnership back in 1958, with the signing of the UK-US Mutual Defence Agreement and the launch of the UK's first nuclear submarine, HMS Dreadnought. Since then, Rolls-Royce has provided the power for every Royal Navy submarine. That's more than 30 naval reactor plants and nearly 90 reactor cores that have been delivered and maintained by our team at Rolls-Royce. Nearly two and a half million hours of critical reactor operation have been accumulated since the late 1950s. For over 50 years, the UK Royal Navy has maintained a continuous at sea deterrence capability, all powered by Rolls-Royce reactors. This means that at least one deterrent submarine is always on operational patrol. Nuclear power combined with a submarine remains the pre-eminent military technology. It brings unsurpassed endurance, range, stealth, power and reliability that still provides the absolute pinnacle of military advantage. So with this incredible advantage, you may wonder why only a handful of nations possess nuclear propulsion technology. The reason for this is that it's hard. It's really hard. It's hard to build the expertise and knowledge. It's difficult to develop the tools and the infrastructure needed. It's a challenge to develop a supply chain and it's tough to recruit and retain the best nuclear experts. And once you've done all of this, you have to develop the capability to support the technology in service and sustain it for decades. Our expertise and the investment in this area also enables us to explore contiguous fields such as nuclear microreactors. So you've heard where we've been, now I want to show you where we're going and how you're going to get there to meet the growing demands of the Royal Navy and to deliver into this exciting AUKUS agreement. In our industry, in order to grow, you need two things, capability and capacity. You need the skills to match the growth and the tools and infrastructure to deliver it. AUKUS has given us the assurance for investment in both. We recognise that while we could continue competing in an increasingly tough job market for a reducing pool of nuclear talent, that really wasn't sustainable. Nor was it likely to help us address the lack of diversity evident in our industry. We wanted to inspire and nurture the nuclear experts of tomorrow from a range of backgrounds and experiences. So while we have enhanced our STEM activity in schools, we've gone further by creating a dedicated nuclear skills academy at our home in Derby. Supported by the MOD and done in partnership with education and industry specialists, this collaborative venture opened its doors to 200 new apprentices in September last year and will take another 200 this year. And we welcome 200 apprentices every year for at least the next decade, creating a pipeline of talent at the very start of their careers, in no small part down to the certainty brought about by AUKUS. We're helping to create a nuclear hub in the East Midlands and we're inspiring youngsters by providing them with debt-free education and an environment where they can learn from some of the smartest minds on the planet. And the benefits of AUKUS will be felt outside of our home in Derby. In fact, outside England, because we've already opened a new satellite office in Glasgow and we're exploring other areas of the UK to position ourselves in. The future locations are being selected to help access the skilled talent pools in the regions, with more than 100 jobs being created in each area once operational. And to meet the enhanced demands from both the Royal Navy and AUKUS, we're already on the journey to double the size of our site at Rainsway, developing cutting edge manufacturing facilities and creating over a thousand jobs in the area, plus many, many more in the supply chain. AUKUS has given us enhanced surety of work that will take us well into the second half of this century, but more than that, it's created a fire in our people. There's even greater pride that their expertise is going to be showcased in the world stage and their innovation and commitment are being utilised to further protect our allies against threat and oppression. In short, we at Rolls-Royce are immensely proud to be playing a key role in the landmark agreement and we're ready.